So I've decided to see a therapist. I really didn't want to, but I guess I have a lot to get off my chest. Gee, I wonder why. Hi, Katie. Hi. So, what brings you here today? Um, well, I, I, I don't think I'm crazy or anything. You don't have to be crazy to attend therapy. You're right. That's right. I mean, I, uh, I just wanted to come and talk with someone. Oh, that's very good. Nothing bad about coming to talk to someone. So, what's on your mind? Well, I'm working on this web series with this director. Tell me more about this director. Oh, God, where do I start? Start anywhere. Tell me who this person is. Well, he's not really a person. He's more like a monster. Moses has a problem. It's called an anger problem. He also has another problem. It's called a people problem. He says what he wants, when he wants, and he doesn't care who he hurts, and, well, he can be so demanding sometimes. It, it can be just so frustrating. I, I'm sick of being pushed around by him like some sort of puppy dog. I see. And how does this make you feel? How does this make me feel? How does this make me feel? It, it, it enrages me, infuriates me, it, it makes me fume! <clears throat> I see. But I don't like, don't really let it bother me though. Really? <laughs> I have been seeing my therapist for 10 years. I know, crazy. Every week, once a week, for 10 years. So, what are we going to talk about today, Moses? I know we kind of talk about this every week, but I thought we could talk about the web series. Surprise. Oh, it's just, I know, everyone is just so stupid. All of my actors have been going crazy. Things are just out of whack. And my assistant, Katie, she is just, she is just crazy this week. Crazier than ever. What did Katie do this time? Doctor, she's supposed to be my assistant, and she hasn't been doing much assisting. He's insane. He doesn't know how crazy he is. She just needs to understand that I am the director and she is my assistant. Be the assistant. Be a director. He makes everyone so stressed out. He's like the Abby Lee Miller of web series. You know, dance moms. She's like Little Miss Cries a lot. She doesn't agree with any of the decisions that I make. She just makes me want to- He just makes some bad decisions. I told you, he doesn't have a filter. He- She's not my mother. He needs to put a lid in that id. He needs to shut up sometimes. Lately, it seems that everything's been really off with her. She's been really stupid. He can be so stupid. Yes, but how does that make you feel? It makes me feel so angry. I, I just want to murder her with an ax. Okay, now Moses. Those are negative words. I know, I know. Negative, negative words, words lead, to lead to problems. Positive, positive words lead to solutions. Lead to solutions. Got it, got it. We need to continue to work on how to handle your anger. Saying you want to murder your assistant with an axe, it's not good. Well, I mean, I, I was kidding. Still. I think I'm doing very well with my anger. I mean, it's just very hard to deal with the anger when there's all these problems going around all over me and everyone's like blubbering idiots. Take a deep breath. What we're going to do is we're going to change your way of thinking. We must get your mindset from a pessimistic view to a positive one. Then I think you'll find that your life will start to change. I'm trying really hard to get over the whole angry thing, but it's just when you have actors that are being weird and they're not memorized and you're just trying really hard, I mean... No, I... stop with the pessimism. Can we just focus on the good things about filming? Ha. Huh. He's constantly yelling at me. Katie, do this. Katie, do that. 
He blames everything on me and tells me I'm doing everything wrong. Well, you know what? He can suck it. Suck, 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 suck it. Okay. If I'm so bad, then he should just find someone else. It sounds like you need to talk to him and let him know that you feel this way. Maybe he'll change and be a little nicer to Moses you. Moses have sympathy for me? <laughs> That's a good one. And besides all the crap that I have to deal with, all those insufficient actors and problems, I can't even tell my family. You still haven't told your family you're gay. Do you think if I did, I'd be sitting here with you? You would suddenly feel cured. No, they would kill me. Why is that? <sighs> they just don't support that. My dad, he, uh, I mean, he... I, I don't want to talk about it. You never want to talk about your father. It's just... It's whatever. I understand how it can be a hard thing to deal with. Telling your parents. Especially your father. But maybe if you just... Explain to him that this is who you are, he will accept you. Do you know me at all? I know that it's a difficult thing to come out to your father. But I think it's better to do it sooner rather than later. It's not good to have to hide who you are. Well, apparently Moses has been hiding the fact that he's gay from his father. So I guess that can be a little stressful. But if that's what's making him angry all the time, then I think that's ridiculous. Why is that? It seems like a very big thing, in my opinion. Well, I know how it feels because I've been keeping a really big secret from him and the whole cast, too. Would you like to tell me what it is that you've been hiding? I'm pregnant. Oh, well, um, congratulations. But what makes you feel that you've had to hide this from Moses? Well, I'm just afraid if Moses fi finds out, he's going to fire me. He, he's going to think that I'm going to be sick all the time and miss filming or just not working my best. That sounds really harsh. I don't think you understand who Moses is. Yeah, but... Don't take his side. I'm not. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah? Well, then understand this. Okay. The other day we were filming a scene. Are you insane, Moses? You are making her stage punch her. That is for the stage, not film. I was so stupid. I let Katie direct the scene. She couldn't even do that. What? You want Christina to really punch Jennifer in the face? I, I, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just going to punch her slowly and softly, and I'll put a sound effect in. It'll just be like a tap. And what if it isn't a tap? We can't risk Christina really punching Jennifer in the face. Yeah, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. Christina, are you telling me that you've never punched anyone in the face before? Well, I stopped someone on stage. <sighs> See? There. She's got experience. She's fine. This Let's is not this. a stage slap. This is a punch. She will have a closed fist with a ring on it. This could end very badly. This is not a democracy. I am the director, and I'm telling Christina, punch Jennifer in the face! Moses! You know what I mean. If she fakes it, it'll look stupid. Everyone will know this is art. So, Christina, punch Jennifer in the face. Jennifer, take one for the team. Please! Moses, this is really stupid. This could end really badly. You are making this out to be worse than it actually is, Katie. You are really starting to piss me off. Piss you off? I'm trying to get in your head how stupid this is! Who do you think you are? People have bones. If you hit them hard enough, they break. He doesn't realize that people can get hurt. Not to mention the fact that it would ruin our continuity because Jennifer would then have a black eye for the rest of the day. Well, you know what? They all signed up for this. They signed the waiver. I'm not going to let us half-ass the scene because Katie doesn't want to hurt the little actors. It was so stupid. Well, he is the director. Yeah, but it was bad direction. Seems like a bad situation. And then it got worse. <laughs> Ding dong. You know, some people may think that coming into a house uninvited would be a kind of robbery. Oh, I don't know what he's blabbering about. What do you want, Penny? I just came to say hello. Don't you always. This isn't a good time. We're filming. Oh, wonderful. I came on a filming day. Get out. 
You mentioned Penny last session. How is she doing? I don't want to know how she is doing. I didn't mean... I know what you meant. I just... she keeps popping up. How does that make you feel? It bothers me. I can never get a read on Penny. She's just this annoying mosquito that keeps buzzing around your head. And no matter how many times you swat it, you can still hear it. Does she stress you out too? Well, she stresses Moses out. And if Moses is stressed, then I'm stressed. Oh God, where do I start? This Penny James pisses me the hell off. Just because she has a television show and I don't, she thinks she's all that. Well, ha ha ha. You know what? She can do all she wants to me, but she just makes me so annoyed. And I try really hard for it to not bother me, but it does, of course it does. Her going off and stealing my actors and my crew, you know, she is the definition of a backstabbing bitch co- Did you figure out what you're going to do? I'm not changing my mind, Jennifer. But Moses- What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I just made a director's choice and Katie is arguing with me like always. <laughs> well, what was it? It was nothing. Now, if you're here, just to say hello. Hello, goodbye, don't let the door hit you on your way out. Ah, oh, Moses. I just came to check in. I have missed you and... Leave. Wait. Maybe you can knock some sense into him. Sure, do you. Christina is supposed to punch Jennifer in a scene. Oh. Moses wants her to punch her for real. I said tap, not punch. If Christina fake punches Jennifer, it'll look really fake, really stupid, really dumb. I see your point. So, Katie wants Christina to do this. Whoa, whoa, watch it. Yeah, yeah, I can see how that would look pretty dumb, especially if you don't film it correctly, and knowing you, you won't film it correctly. Yeah, but... But Moses wants Christina to do this. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to help. <coughs> she punched him in the jaw? Yeah, I wasn't happy either, but... Get out. Best of luck to you and your... people. How was that tap? Shut up! Fine! If you wanna tap her, or punch her, do whatever you want, Katie, I don't really care! People with a fucking tie ducking tie guy! I felt bad. I wish he didn't get punched in the face to see that I was right. Well, maybe you should try giving him your advice in a nicer, less threatening way. What? From the way it sounds, he's he's threatened by you. Moses threatened by me? He's the most terrifying person I know. When he walks down the street, people start running the other way. He thinks you're trying to correct him or tell him that he's doing a bad job. Are you kidding me with this? Penny pisses me off so much. Sounds like you have a lot of pent up anger against her. I think what you need to do is just try and let go. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to let go of a woman that is constantly going against me? That's always trying to one-up me on everything that I do. Moses, you can't control what other people do. But you can control how you react to them. How am I supposed to react to this woman? This woman makes me want to take her outside and smack her around and pull her something and take a knife and just... Whoa, whoa, Moses. What did I tell you earlier about managing your anger? Negative words lead to problems, positive words lead to solutions. <sighs> I just think you should think more about your director and what it sounds like he's been going through. What? No wonder the poor guy is so stressed out. Excuse me? First, he has to hide his sexuality from his parents. Now, he has a former partner who comes over uninvited and literally tortures him. Yeah, but... And now his assistant is questioning all his decisions. What? My decisions... My decision was valid. He's the director. Whose side are you on? No one's. I just feel bad for the poor guy. Don't feel bad for him. He's crazy. 
I would be too. But I'm pregnant. Many women get pregnant, but they don't piss off their bosses. Piss off their bosses? Whose side are you on? Where are you going? I'm leaving. This is bullshit. What is that? I'm prescribing you some meds. I think they'll make you less stressed and maybe decrease your paranoia. It may just be the best thing for you. What, you, you think I need to be on medication? I think it'll help everyone. I'm leaving. This is bullshit. What is this? I think I'll take that. I think our time is just about up. Okay. See you next week. I'll see you next week. I'm just gonna take this. Oh, Katie, you took my advice and saw a therapist. I'm not crazy. What, what are you doing? I'm not crazy. I didn't say you were crazy. crazy. Who crazy. said you were crazy? No, I'm not crazy. What's going on? Thank you for the referral, but I don't think this is going to work out.